MSNBC continues to make its product look foolish on a national stage as they once again told their viewers another lie. This time, it was during Paul Ryan's speech in which they claimed the Janesville GM auto plant was closed under George Bush. This morning, that statement was proven to be false. Worse yet, they used Ezra Klein as a source for their fact-checking. This is the same guy who claimed over the airways that our Constitution is only 100 years old. Here's a news clip from Wisconsin with the story about when the plant really closed. Production at the General Motors plant in Janesville is scheduled to end for good this week. GM spokesman Christopher Lee says operations at the plant will end Thursday. About 1,200 employees were let go just before Christmas when GM ended SUV production at the plant. Some 100 workers were kept to finish an order of small to medium duty trucks for Isuzu Motors. Lee said most of those workers will be laid off on Thursday. He says others will be kept on to help guide the plant's shutdown. GM's long-term future remains in doubt. Chief Executive Fritz Henderson says the automaker may file for bankruptcy if it can't meet the strict requirements that came with the $13.4 billion in government loans.